On behalf of Netnology, welcome to another demonstration, part of the Cisco Cross-Domain Integration Initiative. Today we will be demonstrating Cisco AppDynamics Thousand Eyes, or TE, and InterSight Workload Optimizer, or IWO, integration. This demonstration will include the integration of all three platforms and show how a healthcare provider medical application communicates with end users and the underlying infrastructure. Cisco AppDynamics helps to actively monitor, analyze, and optimize complex application environments at scale. Cisco Thousand Eyes, or Cisco TE, helps to deliver the digital experience with end-user monitoring from anywhere with endpoint agents. Cisco InterSight Workload Optimizer, or Cisco IWO, helps to simplify hybrid cloud operations with full-stack visibility, intelligent insights, and decision automation. Together, these three platforms provide Cisco's full-stack observability solution. With AppDynamics TE and IWO integrated, any organization will have full-stack observability for improved user experience. Organizations can minimize downtime across infrastructure and network. Organizations can simplify operations with reduced OPEX. For AppDynamics on-prem, Make sure the guidelines are met according to the system and server requirements. For AppDynamics SaaS, IP ranges for agents and different components need to be able to communicate with the cloud controller. With Cisco TE being a SaaS-based application, there are no requirements for the application. There are requirements for the cloud agents, enterprise agents, and endpoint agents used by Cisco TE. For IWO being a SaaS-based offer, access to Cisco InterSight is required with the appropriate license for IWO. Please see the links provided for further details. Here is a high-level topology. For this demonstration, we have a Hyperflex cluster that is running vCenter 6.7 and ESXi host of 6.5. Here is where on-prem AppDynamics is deployed. We also have our multi-tier medical application deployed on-prem and in Google Cloud. All of these are connected to a set of fabric interconnect switches, which then uplink to a set of core switches to the rest of the network. Our InterSight Assist VM is deployed on-prem, which has communication to IWO in the cloud and can communicate to everything on-prem. We have two client machines with TE Enterprise agents accessing our medical application. Cisco TE application is SaaS-based, so the communication from our on-prem AppDynamics instance is being allowed to talk with the Cisco TE instance. Some assumptions for this integration are, AppDynamics is already deployed and set up. Agents have already been deployed and application set up. Cisco TE is already deployed and accessible. At this point, we do not need any agent setup. The InterSight Assist VM is already deployed and claimed in InterSight. Hypervisor Environment is already claimed as a target for IWO. Let's get started with the live demonstration. We are going to log in to the AppDynamics application to collect some information needed to complete the integration between AppDynamics and Thousand Eyes. So we are going to log into the dashboard. From the main dashboard, we can see two parts of the information we need to collect. One is the URL to the AppDynamics instance. Second is the application being monitored by AppDynamics. The next piece of information we need to collect is the account name. We can get to this by going to the top right-hand corner and clicking on the cog icon, then scrolling down and clicking on License. From the License Summary page, we can scroll down to Account Details. From here, we can take note of the name. In this demonstration, we can see Kickstarter is the account name being used. 
So far, that is all the information that needs to be collected from AppDynamics, and we can move on to the Thousand Eyes dashboard. After logging into the Thousand Eyes dashboard, we need to browse to the Alerts section on the left-hand side and click on Alert Rules. From the Alert Rules page, we can navigate to one of any of the rule types. For this integration, we are going to use the default HTTP alert rule and open it. We need to navigate to the Notifications tab of the rule. Here at the bottom, we can see the integration section. Next to the drop-down box is the Edit Integrations icon. We need to click on that. From the pop-up window, we are going to select Add New Integration and then select the App Dynamics option from the Type drop-down. For this integration, because we have all these options filled out, we are just going to hit Cancel on this page and then edit our existing integration. Here we can see some of the options that are needed from earlier in this demonstration, but we can start by filling out the options like Name, AppDynamics Instance, Application Name, AppDynamics Username, in this case, the admin account followed by at sign and account name, Password for AppDynamics account, Severity Level, in this demonstration just info, and a few optional settings we can fill out like tier of the application and specific node like a gateway node in the application or business transaction. After all this is filled out, we can then hit the Test button to make sure Thousand Eyes can communicate with the AppDynamics instance. On Successful Test, we can go ahead and select the Save Integration button, and then exit out of the Edit Integration window. In the Integration drop-down box, we can go ahead and select our AppD integration. Then hit Save Changes to save this integration. Once this is completed, we can continue from the AppDynamics dashboard to see the communication from Thousand Eyes to AppDynamics. Back on the AppDynamics dashboard, we need to double-click on our medical application to get into it. From here, we need to navigate to the Events tab to look at the events. In the Events, we can filter on Custom Events. After scrolling down a little bit, we can see a custom event with the summary of AppDynamics test. Let's click on it to see inside the event. We can now see on the summary page, the severity in this demonstration is just informational and the summary labeled AppDynamics test. We can then navigate to the Comments section to see the sample notification from Thousand Eyes into the event alerts of our medical application. Next, we need to continue from the IWO dashboard. After logging in, we need to navigate to the Admin section on the left-hand side and click on Targets. From the target screen, we need to click on the Claim Target button in the upper right-hand corner. From here, we can find App Dynamics and click on it, then hit Start. This will bring up the App Dynamics page where we need to fill in the details to connect IWO to App Dynamics. Because we already have AppDynamics connected, we're going to cancel out and show the details of our existing AppDynamics instance.
As you can see, the option to connect through an Intersight Assist is checked because this instance of AppDynamics is on-prem. Then we will fill in the IP address, port number, username, and password to connect to AppDynamics. On success for adding a new target, we should see AppDynamics in the target dashboard as connected. Next, we can navigate to the Optimize section on the left-hand side and click on Overview. This will bring up the IWO dashboard. From here, we can see we have a Business Application section that we can click on. Then we can scroll down a little bit to see our medical application being monitored by AppDynamics from IWO. This concludes our live demonstration where we have seen how the integration of all three platforms is performed. For further details of this integration example, please refer to the step-by-step -step integration guide. From all of us here at Netnology, thank you for watching.